This video will cover the topic, Solving an Exponential Equation by Using Logarithms. Decimal Answers, Advanced. How do we solve an exponential equation by using logarithms? Good question. Before we begin to solve an exponential equation using logarithms, let's go over some logarithmic rules that will be helpful to remember when solving problems of this type. First, it's important to remember how a logarithm can be expressed in exponential form. When b raised to the power of y is equal to x, then the base b logarithm of x is equal to y. It's also important to remember the logarithm product rule, logarithm quotient rule, and the logarithm power rule. The logarithm product rule says that the base b logarithm of x times y is equal to the base b logarithm of x plus the base b logarithm of y. The logarithm quotient rule says that the base b logarithm of x divided by y is equal to the base b logarithm of x minus the base b logarithm of y. The logarithm power rule says that the base b logarithm of x to the y power is equal to y times the base b logarithm of x. We can use these rules to rewrite exponential equations in different forms that will allow us to solve for unknown variables. Then, using our calculators, we can solve for the unknown variables in decimal form. Okay, I think I understand this all. Can we try out an example problem? Definitely. Here, we have a problem asking us to solve for x in the exponential equation 9 to the 8x power equal to 7 to the x plus 10 power. What is our first step to solving this problem? Our first step is to take the logarithm of both sides of the equation. We do this so that we can take the unknown variable out of the exponent, which makes it easier to solve for. Oh, I understand. Using the logarithm power rule, we can take x out of the exponent. Yep. Taking the logarithm of both sides of the equation, our equation will now look like this. We now want to move all terms with the variable x in it to one side of the equation. To solve for x, we want to first factor it out of 8x log 9 minus x log 7. Finally, we divide both sides of the equation by 8 log 9 minus log 7 to successfully solve for our unknown variable. Wait, but don't we want a decimal number for our answer? That's right. Entering 10 log 7 divided by 8 log 9 minus log 7 into the Alex calculator, we will get that x is approximately equal to 1.2448. Oh, okay. I think I understand this now. But just to be sure, let me go over what I have learned today. To solve an exponential equation by using logarithms, it is important to remember the way to express a logarithm in exponential form. It is also important to remember the logarithm product rule, logarithm quotient rule, and the logarithm power rule. We can use our knowledge of logarithms to rewrite them in ways that allow us to solve for the unknown variable. Using the Alex calculator, we can solve for our answer in decimal form. That all sounded right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher. <laughs>